Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. This is Muhammad Badruddin, and today we are going to solve lab number six. And today we are going to see blind SSRF vulnerability. Again, this is server side vulnerability, and I am going to solve this lab from Web Security Academy from Portswiger. Before going further, as always, a little disclaimer for you: this video and its contents are only for educational and awareness purpose, and I do not support any unethical or illegal act. That's been said. Let's see. what's blind ssrf vulnerabilities as we saw before in blind sql injection vulnerability why it's known as blind because the response you are not going to see on the front end or whatever the response uh, you should see it is not going to render on the web page so on your browser so that's why it's known as blind and to exploit these blind ssrf or blind sqli or whatever blind Uh, vulnerabilities to exploit those vulnerabilities you should uh, have an approach for out of band interaction so uh, before going further just little brief about this what is blind ssrf so if i go back here now in this in this image we can understand very well so now the hacker can directly interact to this uh, published web application server now he is going to trick this server to send the request to his controlled uh, his controlled attacking server right and on this attacking server he is going to capture the dns or http request so if uh, through this server if this server sends a request to this uh, attacker controlled server and attacker gets hit on this server that means uh it is going to be a successful ssrf but the response is not going to be rendered on this front end or on his browser right so let's go we will see more so what is the impact of blind ssrf vulnerabilities these are very good uh, material to study and i will highly recommend to you guys to go and read all these material so how to find and exploit blind ssrf vulnerability so the most reliable way to detect the blind server side request forgery vulnerability is using out of band technique or out of band approach this involves attempting to trigger an http request to an external system that you control you control means uh, attacker attacker controlled server and monitor the network interaction with that system and you need to uh, monitor or capture the request coming from outside so the easiest way and most effective way to use out of band technique is using burp collaborator so in this lab we are going to use burp collaborator from the burp suite and for this you must have the professional version of burp suite because in community edition you will not get the burp collaborator uh, option enabled right that's been said let's jump to the lab So I already open up the burp suite here as you can see this is our burp suite now we need to click on the foxy proxy and just uh, enable the burp proxy on your browser and we can again go to the burp suite first go to the burp option here and choose the burp collaborator client from here you should um, copy this and leave the window open now go back to the web application and here we can visit any of these products so let's go to this product fine and go back to the burp proxy and here you can see we have one request which is this and i'm going to send this request to the repeater go to the repeater send this request again to see the response whether it's okay or not and response seems okay fine it's working so now what we need to do is as you can see here uh, we don't have the stock api url parameter as in the previous labs but if you see this header http header closely you will find there is one uh, header parameter refer so and its value is also a url so what if we just delete that and put the burp collaborator client uh, 
URL here, right? And just uh, send this request. Uh, we can also add here HTTP colon slash slash and just send this request. Once you send this request, go back to your Burp Collaborator client. And here we just click on poll now. And as you can see, a, once we click on poll now, we get a hit to, to our Burp Collaborator client. And here you can consider this Burp Collaborator client as attacker controlled server. And attacker gets here two DNS requests and one HTTP request. That means this web application is trying to interact or this web application is interacting with attacker controlled uh, domain right so first of all because you can see here uh, this is some random string and then uh, the domain name is burp collaborator.net so whenever this uh, this web application is going to request this url so first of all this request has to uh, resolve this name this fully qualified domain name okay so that means first of all this web application server has to resolve ip address for this domain so to resolving the ip address for this domain it has to send a dns request so here we first get two dns requests and then once it resolve the uh, IP address for this domain we get a HTTP request so if we see here closely once we go to see the request so you can see the request is this now if we see the response so 200 okay what is this right so I think we already solved the lab and as you can see congratulations you solved the lab and that's it for this video Hope you understand the concept. If you have any query, you can put your query in the comment section and I will try to resolve it as soon as possible. See you in the next video. And if you like the content, please like, subscribe and share. Bye.